Hello everybody, this is Count Mode and today I'm doing a little tutorial on how to create these um, cover arts and these thumbnails I always use for my videos. Uh, I hope you all enjoy it and let's just start with it. So um, yeah, first of all I use a website called canva.com for this. Um, it's pretty nice and yeah I always use it because it's online and you can use it in the browser and you can access it from like every device and like in every browser. Um, and no, I'm not getting sponsored by Canva, but I really like this website and it helped me a lot in the past. So here you see one of my basic thumbnails and yeah, I've always got this uh, like CD or vinyl style that I use for my thumbnails. It's a layout that I've created and the nice thing about Canva is that if I need a new thumbnail in this layout, I can just drag this plastic wrap texture by the side and drag and drop images of my choice, uh, then close it again, and yeah, that's it. Then I already got my new thumbnail. So, but I want to show you how I created this overlay, and that's literally pretty easy. These are the basic elements that I use. First of all, we've got a background that I always fill with the same image that I use in the cover. It's like I just drag and drop the image in the background and then adjust it and blur it. Um, and just for you to know I'm German, that's why all these buttons are in German. Uh, but yeah, that's literally it. I blur it down and then I just have these few elements here, first of all, in the background, this black square, um, it is meant to create a three-dimensional effect, but I think it's not that important. The really important thing is this plastic wrap texture. It's transparent and yeah, it just gives my covers this vinyl or CD style. Um, and I can just yeah lay it over my pictures. That's pretty cool. And then I've got these two elements too, first of all this this little price sign uh, and this parental advisory sticker. I think they create a really nice vibe um, and yeah, but I think they are not necessary too. So and then I just drag and drop my other image in here, adjust it to a square form like this. And then I just changed the position of this image so it is behind the other layers. Not behind the black square, but yeah, that's basically it. Sometimes I have to readjust the plastic wrap a little bit. But yeah, that's exactly um, how I create my thumbnails and covers. It's not that complicated. Many people wanted to know where I get these uh, images from too. And usually I um, just find them by googling, for example, aesthetic wallpaper or you can also look just for type beat and then you find lots of um, covers too you can just use. And of course, like the first results you find uh, are most likely to be used from like every artist, so always scroll down a little bit so you don't use the same covers like everybody. Yeah, that's it. Um, I hope you all enjoyed this video and I could help you out. Uh, see you in the next video in my beats. I'm gonna do a little uh, announcement in the next weeks because there are a few big changes coming to this channel. But anyways, I hope you all have a good time and see you soon.